Maker call. We go check out, see if we get some video on about. Um, sits on top of a soda dispenser. I think they're saying it's backing up with water. So let's go see what we get into up there. sensor out of there. Inside doesn't look bad, but we're going to clean it up. Here's another thing. This guy took the water up. This bucket's down here because this drain can't, can't take it when that was overflowing. So they got that down there, but what they did is they teed the water line coming in that feeds all the soda stuff. And they ran it through that filter. Then it leaves this one and goes right up into the ice maker. So the only shutoff is the main shutoff. And there's no pressure regulator on this thing. It comes in right here. That's where it goes. I think the soda pop guys hooked this one up. Mm, fun stuff. Okay, so I've cleaned the probe. Let's see if we can get it in there. Filled up and there's an ice again. Wait for it to get below its levels to bring the water valve back on. So, what I've done for the meantime is pinch down the angle stop. And i got to show you the water setup. It's hilarious. See if that will take care of it until I can get a water pressure regulator on it. You can see the output the water valve off. So when that level gets low enough, it'll bring it back on and start to fill again. We're getting close here. Okay, I missed it on camera, but it did. It just filled it back up and stopped without overflowing and making the water fall. Just filled it back up. in the bundle that purple wire back there in the bundle tees goes up comes over this pretty much sediment filter and then up to the ice maker then it also goes and feeds the carbonator pump and the soda fountain so the bundle goes all the way back to the kitchen here push out all the way under the cabinet the yeah all the way down the kitchen bundles right there purple hoses right there it comes up in the back where is that one yeah it goes right in the back there's the purple one comes out of the bundle beep purple one it loops around goes back there comes up to the wall here out of the wall then it goes to this it goes to that it 
because the one angle stop, two angle stop. Okay, so I turned off the angle stop that was on the left first. That'll turn the water off. So let me now let me go flip flop them and see what it does. That was with this one off. Let me turn this, crack this one on, and I'm gonna turn this one off. Let's see what it does. Yeah, so the one on the left is the main feed. They must be back feeding through that other angle stop. All right, so I'm throttling down the angle stop to make it my temporary water pressure regulator. Until I can get one on there. Because the ice maker will overfeed. And by the time the computer catches continuity from the water level sensor, so much water is coming in it was pouring out. Going into the bin here, coming out here, this drains really slow drain. And then I get the secondary waterfall onto the floor. That's what we got going. And then of course it wouldn't make ice because it was just kept had too much water in there. It would melt the ice that it would make because of the waterfall. So when it would drop a batch, it would just melt it because it would just overflow water and melt the ice out. Check the inputs real quick. Uh, menu button. Go scroll down to service. And hit the over button. And hit real time. And then I wanted to check my outputs. Water pump's on, hot gas is off because we're in the freeze well, the air pump's off. There's my water valve, off. Dump valve, compressor control on. Accus relay off. I got a cool on. Those are your choices for your outputs. Uh, let's go with water valve. So that's how you get to that. Started harvest. Let's check it and then we'll watch it as it refills. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. We're filling up. It's not as crazy as before. There's our curve over there. So what it was doing before, it would get to this stage and you'd have a waterfall until um, it would catch up and it would melt the ice that you made so it would never catch up. So if you got water falling on your new ice, it'll just melt it. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm in the back of the van here. It's dark out. So it's just... <clears throat> clarifying this in the book on that water level sensor so it has three probes and the two long probes are in there in conjunction with the short probe to cycle it and it says here the water inlet valve turns off after water contacts the water level probe for six continuous seconds so it's not an instant shut off so that's what was happening with all that water pressure so it's good to have the books to get all the intel you know, like always with the ice makers, you can't remember all this stuff, so you might as well have the books and read about it. All right, that's it for that one. Sometimes we're just plumbers out there, and uh, that's how it goes sometimes. Water pressure regulator needed. I can't appreciate it. 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 I